island of Sodor is home to many really useful engines. But just where do these engines live and work? Welcome to Landmarks of Sodor, where we explore the stations, quarries, castles, sheds, and shunting yards that make this island such a wonderful place to be an engine. This week, Brendam Docks. These docks provide a maritime gateway to the mainland and beyond. They're the main loading and unloading point for cargo coming to and leaving the island. The Sodor Shipping Company is based here and is largely responsible for all trade between the island of Sodor and the mainland. Exports include China clay from the China clay pits, slate from the Blue Mountain Quarry, and fish which are transported by Henry and the Flying Kipper. Gordon's Express stops here once a day to pick up passengers from the big liners such as the SS Rockstar. Sodor imports only what it cannot grow or make itself. This includes bubble mixture for Mr. Bubbles Bubbles and rock salt, which keeps the island's roads and this dockside from becoming slippy and dangerous in winter. This makes it a safe place to work for engines such as Salty who is the dockside diesel. He's a friendly, practical engine who always has a story to tell or a sea shanty to see. And here's Porter. Porter came to work at Brendam Docks when Salty was having engine trouble. The two engines are best of friends, working together to organize freight and keep the docks ship -shaped. Cranky is the most well-known of the dockside cranes. He is extremely hard-working, but can be a bit grumpy. Cranky by name, cranky by nature. And it's not just freight that travels by sea to the docks. Engines sometimes arrive on the island this way. Cranky is responsible for loading and unloading them safely. So there we have it, viewers. Brendam Docks, a busy place and the first port of call for most visitors to Sodor. Join us again soon when we visit more Landmarks of Sodor. Cheerio!